Hey guys, this is Tony Grillo. Welcome to this series of tutorials on working with bitmap assets in Toon Boom Harmony. Now Harmony is basically a vector-based application, but it does an amazing job with bitmap assets with alpha channels. Working with bitmaps can be very tricky, especially when you're importing a layered Photoshop file, and I'm going to show you how to adapt that into your workflow as smoothly as possible. For our bitmap source, we'll be using the book Little Taco Truck by Tanya Valentine and Jorge Martin, and you'll be joining me as I produce the Little Taco Truck book trailer. Now this tutorial assumes you have a basic working knowledge of Toon Boom Harmony, so I'm not going to get into the details of everything, but I'll show you a few tricks and techniques. This is part two where I'm going to show you basic character rigging for bitmap assets, which is very similar to vector assets, except there's a lot less drawing and a lot more manipulating. If you haven't already, watch the first tutorial in the series, which covers prepping your assets in Photoshop and importing a layered Photoshop file. One thing I'd like to start with is rigging everything the way I would for a limited animation. You got your face, you got your pupils, close and open eyes, and then your mouth. The jumbo gumbo text, let's put it on a peg. That way if we do have to flip the character around, we can double flip the gumbo jumbo name so that it's reading the correct way. Now let's look at this door foreground. We are going to be adding some animated steam in there that's going to need to stay in front of the bowls but behind the lid. Uh, and I'm going to give the body its own peg because when he enters, I may want to do like a cool little thing with him. We also are using Mr. Crawdad. Oh, I'm calling him a lobster. <laughs> I keep calling him a lobster. He's not a lobster. He's a crawdad. Nothing against lobsters here. I love lobsters. Uh, with the eyes, we're going to wind up drawing a couple of frames. So I'm going to click on those eyes and I'm going to add a second frame there. Drawing edit mode, create a new color, lobster eye, and let's pick a brush that has the same sort of charcoal feel. Those look like blinks and we'll do sort of a in-between. There you go. Now Jumbo Gumbo himself, he is essentially rigged enough for us to put him into place. So let's bring everything back. I'm going to turn animate off. Reference video. This is the reference video that has the animatic. I'm going to find that position to which he's coming. See, there it is. I'm doing this by eyeball, as you can see but he's at 31.8 blah 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 percent. So we're going to round this to 0.32. So he is going to become the standard by which we scale all our other characters. You'll remember the full scale chart. Every character that we bring in from here on out will be at 32 percent. So rigging the rest of the character you want to make sure that the registration points are in the right spot. So using the permanent rotate tool to essentially rig where you're scaling from that position. You want it to be around its natural axis of rotation or scale. So go to everything, his face, the bowls, the lobster, his pupils, his eyes, his brows, his smile. So what we're doing right now is we're taking those pegs and we're giving their axis of rotation the proper treatment so that they can be moved around. So all of those bits and pieces, you want to kind of be in the center. Now that we've separated Gumbo Jumbo's layers, I want to show you how that animation process will look with the prep that we've done. Here's what our Jumbo rig looks like. Deformer and bone rigs. It's a pretty nice, simple set of bones, perfect for this type of animation. I have the face uh, as a kinematic output, which means it actually is sort of attached to the deformed object and maintains its integrity. We also are using Mr. Crawdad. Instead of using bones, I actually use deformers. And that's so that I think we could just do some really basic general move. So he can just kind of go up and down. Because we separated him as well as we did, I can have him sort of look anywhere. Even his smile can move around and his brows. And that lets his face move a little bit independently of the rest of him. Kind of gives him a little more life. So that as I've been calling him Lobster, but really Crawdad, will maintain his integrity independently of the truck, which can sort of have him develop his own personality. And that's basically how our rigged character will animate. Here is Gumbo Jumbo in the final sequence. Be sure to check out the next tutorial covering uh, building a walk cycle using deformers. To learn more about the book, Little Taco Truck by Tanya Valentine, search for it at the publisher's page, Penguin Random House, or purchase Little Taco Truck at any bookseller.
Check out the YouTube channel to watch the completed little taco truck book trailer or visit Mighty Pants to check out more of my videos. Thanks for watching and happy animating everybody.